Welcome back, everybody. A performance is happening tonight at the Nebraska Community's Playhouse, and here to talk about it is Lauren Durbin and Michael Trutna. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you. So first, Lauren, what can we expect tonight? Well, Into the Woods is a conglomeration of the fairy tales you know, but in a very different way. So Cinderella and Jack and the Beanstalk and Little Red Riding Hood all meet in the woods, and their story kind of goes from there in a way that you're not expecting. And Michael, what's your role in this production and what's been your favorite part so far? I am one of the two um, kind of anchoring characters, along with Lauren, who have been um, kind of added as the through line for the show. So our characters interact with all of those characters that you know in trying to procure certain items um, that they've been set on the quest to receive. So we have to break a spell. The baker and the baker's wife have to break a spell by getting the cow as white as milk, the cape as red as blood, the hair as yellow as corn, and the slipper as pure as gold. And that's how all the other characters are brought into it. What makes this very unique compared to other productions? Oh my goodness. So it is, I think, that it marries stories you know with this original story to bring them all together. And it's Stephen Sondheim's music, which is always stunning and always brilliant and unexpected. So I mean, act one really is fairy tales in the way you know them, and then act two is the consequences. What happens when they grow up? What happens when you get your wish? How many people are involved in the production? We have a cast of 20 mm -hmm. on stage, and then we have at least, well, at least, I think, 15, 10 to 15 um, on, the, on the wings and in the, in the um, sure. up in the booth. So yeah, there's, it's a big group. Yeah. What do you say to the community that wants to join in or watch? Oh, well, it's wonderful. So the Nebraska Communities Playhouse has only been open for a year, year and a half, new to the community, and they're doing really, really wonderful work down in Hickman, which is only 15 minutes away. So sometimes I think people think it's farther away than it is, but it's a wonderful way to get out and support local theater, and I think people will be, will be pleasantly surprised by what they find. Uh, Michael, how long have you been performing? Oh gosh, um, I have been doing theater since my college years, so probably more than 25 years. Why'd you sign up for this, or why'd you get involved? This, um, this show has always been a special show for me. Um, I got to actually do this show in, um, way back in the day, out at Pinewood Bowl. I believe <laughs> in the early 90s it would have been. Um, and so it was very, very fun to get a chance to do the show again in a different role, a different place indoors as opposed to outdoors instead of the open air. <laughs> so it was very, very fun to get a chance to revisit the show. Yeah, Lauren, same question about you. I know oh. we hear you from the lead, but I mean, this is yeah, gotta be cool. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And this has always been one of my very favorite shows. I've loved this show for as long as I can remember. So I jumped at the chance to do it. And where can people get tickets? NebraskaCommunitiesPlayhouse.com. And this isn't just happening this weekend, right? There's another weekend that this is also? People Correct. Also so we open tonight. So it's tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. And then next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday as well. All right. Anything else you'd like to let the community know? Come and see the show. Come and see the show. <laughs>